so we are meeting with Dr. Simon Pixton Taylor at the Saldana Bay Diocesan Clergy School. Good morning, Doctor, and welcome. And so this Dr. Simon is an expert on gender diversity. And so, Doctor, in a brief moment, can you explain to us, please, or help us gain understanding of what is gender diversity? Sure. Well, gender has four main aspects. Uh, most of us were brought up believing you were either male or female, very binary, one or the other. But there are four main axes. The first one is biological sex, the body on the outside. But even that is on a spectrum. From 100% male to female, I work with intersex children, people who are born with bits of both body. Then you get gender expression, which is the clothes you like to wear, the toys you like to play with as a child, and do you prefer playing with same sex or opposite sex peers as a kid. And girls who have more male gender expression, it's called a tomboy, that's acceptable. But the other way around, uh, boys receive a hard time, and men, if they have more feminine gender expression. The third axis is sexual orientation, who you're sexually attracted to, and that's also on the spectrum, from 100% straight to 100% homosexual or gay or lesbian. But, into, uh, but bisexual is all people also exist. But gender identity is really what I talk about a lot, because this is the one most people don't understand. That's your own inner sense of who you are. doesn't matter what your body is, but do you feel you're male or female or somewhere in the middle of the spectrum? Non-binary or gender queer are terms people use to describe themselves that feel they're somewhere in the middle. Most people have never thought about this. They wake up with a body and it's male or female. They are cisgendered, C-I-S gendered. And they are comfortable with being male or female. But people who identify as transgendered, trans is the, rug, the Latin word for a cross, identify as being somewhere on the opposite end of the spectrum from their birth assigned sex. So that is gender uh, diversity is the term we use to talk about people who are in some way gender diverse. But even then I'd ask the person, what do you mean by gender diversity? Are you talking about gender identity or sexual orientation? Because people can get these things very confused. Mm, thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Simon. And out of all that uh, you have shared and taught us this morning at this diocesan clergy school, taking away from that, what would be the ultimate key message to the church, to our clergy, and be it in the diocese or worldwide, wherever it is, and basically to our people? Well, I think the first one is be humble and listen and treat each person, be they young or old, with dignity and respect. Because young people who are diverse are very happy to share who they are if they are given a space that is respectful and not hostile or humiliating. And um, then it's to educate oneself. So there is information out there. My whole talk is on the internet. <laughs> you can press the button and the information is there. This is so vital. We need to include gay, lesbian, transgender, intersex young people in our Christian communities. And it is so important that priests come up to date with what we know today. And, you know, a hundred years ago, women couldn't wear trousers, as you're wearing today. They'd be forced out of the community. We have a better understanding of things today, and much of it is scientific. Everything I say as a doctor has to be scientific. And there are wonderful ways to support gender-diverse young people today that leads to very successful outcomes. Without those supports, these kids do terribly. 50% try and kill themselves by 18, and another 40% later in life. So be humble, educate yourself, and treat everybody with dignity and respect, and keep them in the church, is what I would say. Thank you, Dr. Simon Pixton-Taylor.